New in FEMAP 2022.2 is Accelerator Share. Accelerator Share allows data from all systems, including FEMAP, to easily be shared in one location on the cloud. In this example, we are going to use Accelerator Share with FEMAP to upload and download files directly from the cloud. First thing is to sign in to Siemens Connector. The Connector app should automatically bring up the sign in page once your machine has first turned on. Connector is the connection between the cloud and your local files. Next, we're going to bring up NX to export out our design geometry. When saving the exported geometry, we will browse to the connector folder, select projects, and then create a new project directly from the connector folder path in the Windows File Explorer. When bringing up connector from the hidden icons, we can see the file is uploading and our project is synced to the cloud. Next, we'll bring up the website share.sws.siemens.com to access the cloud through a browser. This is also where you will download the Siemens Connector app if you do not have it installed. From the website, there are three toggles at the top left, the home page, projects, and task board. Home is where you can upload files and then move them to your desired project. You can also create projects from the home folder. The projects folder allows you to create and access projects that you own or are shared with you. Now we will use FEMAP to import the exported geometry from NX using the import from Accelerator Share. After the file has been imported, we'll do some pre-processing and meshing to the model. To see a detailed model analysis of a wing using Accelerator Share, please check out the Accelerator Share data collaboration video. Now that the meshing is complete, we'll go ahead and save the file directly to the connector project so the file will automatically upload to the cloud. Bringing up the connector app allows you to see the file uploading to the cloud. You can also do this through the Windows Explorer project folder showing the synchronized status column. Using the Windows Explorer is very helpful as you can choose which files live on your machine or just on the cloud. You can free up space through the connector project folders by first selecting the files you do not want to live on your machine and then right click and select free up disk space. Stub synchronize means the file will no longer take up space on your machine. You can check this by going to File Properties. The next time you do an Open from Accelerator Share and select the file on the cloud, the file will begin downloading through the connector and then will become synchronized. Opening files also checks them out to you and makes the file read-only until the file is checked back in. Now we are going to create a modal analysis and then save the file. When saving the file, the FO6, OP2, and NASTRAN deck will be saved as well. When saving these files, you will notice the FO6, OP2, and Nastran deck will save local only in the connector project on your machine. If you check the connector app, there are no toggles for FO6, OP2, and Nastran deck to automatically be synced to the cloud and software domains. To automatically have these files and all file types to be synced when saving from any program, you'll need to select unclassified at the bottom. You'll then notice the files will start to synchronize to the cloud. Lastly, we will open up the FEMAP model and save a JT of the first mode to the cloud.
JT can then be viewed on the cloud by you or other personnel that the project is shared with. Using Accelerator Share and Connector allows FEMAP to easily share all files from one location.